Greetings everyone, welcome to another edition of Tape Talks, and a lot has happened, and this has been actually a little late coming up because I've been held up, but anyway, I am just all over, I am kind of not happy about some things, but at the same time kind of excited about others, um, long story short, the first thing is last night I could not sleep every time I went to go to bed I just could not feel like I got tired so I pulled an all-nighter last night I was up until 5 this morning then I finally crashed went to bed and I woke up at about noon so I'm about ready by the time and I'm going to try and get some stuff done that I was started last night but I'm basically collecting top 100 Minecraft servers and I'm going to make my own top 100 based off of everything I see and what movie is that well okay um I'm frenzy I do want to thank Hayes he's finally doing some fi fixing some of the issues around my frenzy there's finally a U a V a W X Y and Z mines so finally there are all those gang leader players now have the hat command so gang leader and up can have has that as a fun little perk. Um, trying to think. Hayes, as of last night, reset factions again. Like he reset it two months ago, and apparently this time he, when he reset it, he made it 1.8. So now, now that he's done factions for 1.8, he should be able. He should. He should. Well, there should really be no reason as to why he doesn't put creative and prison and drug craft and the other things on 1.8. Because I would like to have 1.8 stuff in creative, especially the banners. And then, um, prison. I think the 1.8 items would be appreciated because I'd want a slime block. Assuming that he wouldn't blacklist them. But anyway, he reset factions. Some players just said they got an older Mind Frenzy faction base back. I don't know what it is or not, but it kind of looks like it might be an older base. Players, for the most part, they are... Some of them are... Let's see now... Hayes set up a new shop and it's actually quite convenient, but I think Hayes forgot to... I think Hayes forgot to set a gold shop in there, but it looks pretty nice. Um, there's King of the Hill. There's also a little jail area. So if players that are being inappropriate or break the rules, I guess the staff are going to start sending them there so they get muted. Um, there's new staff on prison, Furious Flame is now staff, um, I am Velsh, and before any of you start raging, he and I sometimes don't get along, and I may have said, I don't think I've said it in the tape talks, that I wasn't too fond of him for the way he acted sometimes. I dropped something. Okay, I, to be honest, wish him the best of luck. I think he could go to distance since he is quite more active than I am able to be right now given the fact that I can't even have a decent internet connection half the time now. But the logic behind it when you when you well when I think about half the things I've seen go on with him, the logic of it just doesn't make sense to me, but I don't want to banter and I don't want to make things look bad for him, but anyway. And I'm pretty sure sooner or later when Broken Spirit finds out, if he hasn't already, he's going to be raging his head off. <laughs> That's one pain in the butt. I wish I could get Vivi to ban. Of course, Broken, I don't think, has even been on the server. Anyway, um, also the Mojang name change. I kind of am not happy Mojang did that. Because I cannot keep anyone's new name straight. Like a few players, like Vosh, for example or changing the names so I can remember them easy. Yellow I know isn't changing, Flame I know isn't, but Sophie for instance, he, he changed his name to the Faded Trilogy. Um, player and Mark server named Grass, I've already forgotten what his old username was, but he changed the... 
Ugh. Grass. Okay, sausage and the donuts do not agree. Um, anyway, so... There's that. I'm on... Oh, here. And on creative, Hayes finally... I forgot to mention this earlier, but Hayes finally fixed creative spawn, so got rid of all the obby. Um, he made Bannerd a helper, so I congratulate her. Um... What else? What else? What else? Okay, I do not like that movie. That's like an old black and white movie. Let's see now. Andy Bay and... I just found this out last night. It's probably been out for a while, but I'm always the last to find out things. Spartan 1-0 seemed to be taking a break. So... And some players have said Hayes actually fired Sparta for inactivity. So... Yeah. The Mind Frenzy faction reset, in my opinion, Hayes, well, Hayes goofed it up. He screwed it up a little bit. Like, he forgot to set a protected region at spawn where players could be safe and actually do something. And Hayes, I think he, I'm, my impression of him when he does these things, he assumes everyone has a beastly computer, perfect internet, and... That's not the case. Like, a lot of players got mad because they got stuck in a death cycle. I'm madder than hell because every time I try to move, Hayes spawned in too many dragons. So, next time Hayes does a PvP reset, please go easy on the dragons and the wizards. I know you want to spawn a bunch in for the players to fight, but if you spawn too many people with crappy internet like me or Big Redneck, we're not going to get anything done. I didn't even get to do any raiding or blowing up the old spawn because... Hey, there's too many Ender Dragons, too many Wizards. It's not fair. Um, anyway, so, yeah. There's some good things, there's some bad things. I'm kind of a little annoyed at Hayes because, for the fact that he spawned so many Ender Dragons. If he, if he, if he didn't actually get rid of them after I tr started spa trying to spam chat. It's the only time I'm intentionally going to admit that I tried to spam. Get rid of the mobs because my laptop fan was screaming. I don't know why my laptop just doesn't like the inner dragon and Red's internet <laughs> didn't like it either. Anyway, long story short, um, so that could have gone better for the players who actually managed to get out do stuff. Woohoo! But for uh, about five or six camping noobs and I don't know they're, who they were but they're just campers and idiots who think it's fun to just camp there and stop players who died from doing trying to take part in the fun yeah you guys need you guys shame on you you guys suck so anyway um, there's also some MTA, CTA stuff going on that I'd like to talk about but I'm actually gonna save that for a later date so long story short, holy crap, I gotta get going if I'm gonna actually go to Starbucks. Anyway, so long story short, and also, if you're wondering, they said I was gonna get a job, someone came out last week, no job, got to run around again, so yeah, I'm mad about that. Well anyway, I gotta wrap this up, I have to save this movie and then get going to Starbucks because I have other things I need to do, and it's probably not gonna be me on Minecraft most of the time there. So I'd like to stop and I'd like to say peace out and peace out.